Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. This is a series that premieres every Saturday, 3 p.m. UK time. There is a live chat which is like a virtual cafe. So if you're feeling low, if you're feeling lonely, or you just want to chat makeup, then Karma Chameleon is the place to be. So let's get started today. Um, I've done my brows um, because I'm still, I still don't want to people to see me without brows if that makes sense but i use the elf bite sized brow palette i have it in the shade dark brown i really like it i do really like it the tinted wax is ever so slightly tinted but for me it's good because where i've got no brows at all i can kind of sketch out my brows with the wax and um, because it's so pale and if i make any mistakes i can wipe it off and then I just go over it with the powder. So I, I love that. I love it. Nearly as much as I love the Revolution Brow Kit that I use. Um, I will just say, in case my lips start looking funny, because they're burning. <laughs> um, I tried the Too Faced Lip Injection. Uh, Extreme Instant and Long Term Lip Pump Plumper. Extreme, I agree with. I feel like, uh, I feel like someone's holding a candle to my lips. Um, but yeah, we'll see what that does. And... Let me pop that aside. So I'm going to go in with the P. Louise Base Pro in the room, in the rumor, in the color Rumor 02. Oh my word. Yeah, today's one of those days. So, <laughs> right, let's find a brush for this. So guys, little update on the eggs. They have started to hatch. All of the babies have got their heads out. We have one completely out of the egg as I am filming. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Um, hopefully by the time I'm editing, all five of them will be out of their eggs completely. So I will be able to pop some pictures just up around for you so that you can see. Obviously, if you are scared of snakes, then look away for a few seconds now and I'll let you know when you can look back. So, for those of you interested, here is pictures of the babies, or at least the ones that are out um, as I'm editing. So They're so cute, so, so cute, and so tiny and new to the world, it's magical. Anyways, I am going to move on. So, for those of you scared of snakes, you can now look back again. And uh, I am so excited. So we currently have another, there's another eight in that incubator and then six in the other eggs. So there's gonna be a few more babies in the next couple of months, which is going to be so hard to let them go to new homes, but it's, I feel important to kind of educate people in the hobby because there are some people who just do it for either the money or they look at what I've got, they don't care for them properly, it's more fear mongering and I, yeah, so we're on the educating side of things but yeah, but that's my, well one of my very exciting things this week. Also, I had my best friend round last night as I'm filming this. Uh, for you, it would have been Wednesday. <laughs> um, Wednesday just gone. Uh, that was so good. Spending time with my best friend does always make things a bit better. And it is her birthday tomorrow as I'm filming this. So yesterday for you guys. Um, so yeah, it was nice to get to spend that bit of time with her because obviously I can't go out because of, yeah, well, all of that. I will say another pretty good thing that's happened in the last week is my meds being changed. I think I mentioned it last week. Well, I had a lot of drama around that because I changed who dispensed my medication to me. And I'm not going to mention the company's name because... I don't believe in doing that. However, my experience was awful, absolutely awful. Basically, um, 
not the Wednesday just gone, the Wednesday before, my doctor sent the prescription to this dispenser. And on that Wednesday that they received it, their pharmacist decided that they didn't like the wording on the prescription um, and the reason for the medication um, because I get prescribed uh, gabapentin which is usually used for uh, epilepsy and so yeah he deleted he deleted it didn't let anyone know didn't let me know so I'm sat around for a few days waiting for my meds to arrive so that I can um, change my dosage and well <laughs> they didn't come so I phoned them up and I was on the phone for an hour I ended up like really upset but really angry and I, I cry with any extreme emotion so I was crying and I, I was saying to the guy you know you're the one that's made this this mistake I need this medication oh no there's nothing we can do um and I asked to speak to their pharmacist oh no I can't put you through I can get you a call back in three to five working days um he was really rude and I was I ended up I got off the phone, I was in tears, I didn't know what to do, so I phoned the doctor and the receptionist there was an absolute gem. So yeah, she uh, she said, oh, I can get it sent to your uh, to your nearest Tesco's, to their pharmacy. And I was seriously? She's like, yeah. Like, yes, because I know my boyfriend goes there to do shopping for me and he could pick it up. So that was perfect. So instead of this three to five working days I would have to wait to speak to someone for them to then decide if they were going to put my prescription through. The doctor sent it across to Tesco's and it was picked up same day. Um, absolutely fantastic, I praise them highly, I would never touch with a barge pole the other company because their pharmacist thought they knew better than a doctor. Absolutely disgusting, uh, I was fuming, but Tesco saved the day. So it's all good. But yeah, that was a bit of a drama just to get my medication because I have been on the 300 milligram ones, which this company have dispensed for me, bear in mind, the 300 milligram gabapentins. And it was the 100 milligram gabapentins that I couldn't have for my condition. Um, they had no answer to that. <laughs> Why that they had dispensed me on three occasions the 300 milligram ones and wouldn't let me have the 100 milligram ones oh so that was an absolute drama but that's now sorted i'm still waiting on the physio to get in contact with me to arrange my first appointment and then to arrange on going from there but fingers crossed that won't be too long so dramatics over and done with <laughs> I'm going to be using the Looking Like a Snake palette from Pout and Shout. Oh my god, I love it. Absolutely love it. Just the artwork. If, uh, well, for those of you who watch all my videos, you would have already seen this. Um, but look at that. How beautiful is that? I played with the more purpley and pinky colours um, when I did the the video just on this palette but today I'm going in with kind of the brown and greens so the first colour I'm going in with is going to surprise a lot of you <laughs> it is out on a limb which is the brown and I'm going to put that in my crease and make sure I pat it all down so yeah how has your week been have any of you had a, a good week or any of you had a drama filled week like me <laughs> let's have a chat either in the live chat or if you're watching after this premieres then uh, yeah just pop a comment let me know how weird is it I'm putting brown in the crease I never do this I never do this but it's the only one that's going to work in the crease for what I want to do so or for the colours I want to use so yeah this is what we're doing and it's a very nice brown as far as browns go 
don't really know what else I can say to that. I'm not really a brown person. But it is going to look very nice when it's finished, I'm sure. I'm just dying to play with these greens. I wouldn't usually use the same palette twice in a week, but well, unless I was doing a multiple looks video and then it's kind of a bit of a no-brainer, but I'm not. And what the on earth is that? I did not blend that in properly. It's deaf. it's still very tacky I am just in love with everything that Pout and Shout brings out and uh, I am this is never sponsored um, bless her she she's so such a new small indie brand that she couldn't she couldn't afford to do PR bless her um, or sponsor um, so yeah these videos using any of the pout and shout stuff it's just simply because i love the products i love maria also she is wonderful um her products are just stand out really amazing so uh yeah i would love to see more people talking about her products because uh, i think she really deserves to grow she puts so much heart into everything she does and she deserves to be a hell of a lot more she deserves a lot more recognition than she gets i know nikki raven talks about her which is fantastic i'm just over the moon that i am not the only one that just can see how amazing she is but yeah that will that will do <laughs> and then right what am i going to do okay so for the outer v i am going in with silly string and i'm just using the other side of my spectrum bo9 which i forgot to say <laughs> i'm terrible at remembering to say brushes and the brush i used for the eye primer is a moda domed shadow brush I like it for uh, eye primer though. So the other side of my spectrum and I'm just going to slowly, I'm doing my eyes first this time because uh, I know that I did get fallout with the other shades. So it doesn't matter now if we do. Oh, look at that. This one again is more satin shimmer leaning, but as I discovered a yester yesterday, the last time I used this palette, um, they work beautifully. So let's, what am I doing? that in the outer bit there I'll do some more blending um, in a moment I just want to get these uh, this color placed down it's truly beautiful this color it's really grungy I love it I seem to be quite into grungy at the moment I have no idea why it's just just seems to be screaming stuff. It probably isn't, but that's how I see it in my head. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm loving grungy at the moment. And this is quite a grungy palette, but you can also do kind of airy fairy looks. So just using the other side of the brush I used to apply the brown. Just going to kind of mesh the two.
So for the outer part of my lid, I am going in with Shake Your Grass. <laughs> I love that name so much. All right, and I'm using a Morphe. It doesn't say what it is, but oh, it's a like a flat rounded one. I love these for applying shimmers. So pick up some of that. And I'm just using the Makeup Obsession So Dope Makeup Fixing Spray. Oh, and spraying my hand instead of the brush, apparently. Um, let's. Oh, okay. Oh, mm, I'm in love. Look at that green. These are your kind of classic shimmer formula. But, oh, look. That is so pretty. So pretty. I love that. And then the other side. Got the brush this time. I'm only doing something quite simple today, but sometimes simple is just really effective. I always have to go all out for it to look great. I think half the time I, I like to go all out and do more dramatic looks just because at the time it cheers me up. It's what what makes me feel better. And uh, yeah, this is beautiful. I have zero complaints with these. Just, if you pick up shadows, remember to do your eyes first or put a, if you've got very young skin that doesn't crease massively under the eyes, you can uh, stick a load of powder there. But when I do that, it just dries out my under eyes and makes me look even older. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is so, so pretty. All right, let's grab another brush. You'll do. You will do. So this one is a Morphe Madison Beer kind of flat brush thing. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with Kisses. Because I think this is going to look beautiful. I'm hoping anyway. I had this thought like after I did my makeup yesterday that like, oh that's gonna go great with the the green. So let's see. This is gonna go really. This is gonna go. This is going really good. Oh my god! Oh my words! They escaped me and was patting over the edge of the green there. Just a little touch more. Just to pat over the line. Oh, these just blend so beautifully together. I'm amazed at how. Just how versatile this palette is, the undertones of most of these shades make it so that they just go together. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my head. Oh, I love, oh, I love this. It is a shimmer with sparkles in, which is fine by me. I love a sparkle. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is quite a different look for me. More grungy and... I like it. So this is for me quite a neutral look, but one that I am more than happy with. Let me know if this is what you would class as a neutral look. I'm convinced that this looks neutral. So if I am wrong, then Please do, please do tell we're wrong. If you think different, then uh, yeah, let me know. Okay, I am, I'm happy with that so far. 
all right let's do the clean up so there's still a few sparkles but i'm i just can't be bothered to get rid of them um so the primer i'm going in with is the uh, even Masca Hydravel, the jelly like one. I love this, it's so good. Move that down so I can actually see from a distance now. So, grab some of you. I am pretty sure that the Sample Beauty, um, is it Infinity in One or something gel, is a dupe for this because they feel exactly the same on the skin they're both this clear almost jelly like substance um they pretty much do the same thing it will have a tryout so i've got a couple of items i think could be dupes yeah i will uh definitely be testing a couple of those out at some point just to uh just to see but I do absolutely love this primer so much. And I love that you've got the little spoon that kind of slots onto there. I can't do it whilst holding it above my head, can I? But it just slots on like that. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, so for foundation today, I want to go in with the Born This Way Matte um, from Too Faced. I have it in the shade Almond, the same as I have the concealer and the other Too Faced one. Um, so I haven't used this for a while, but I thought I would try it out with a more hydrating primer because uh, I, I believe last time I found it really like too matte. Oh dear, sparkles everywhere. <laughs> I've heard a few of my YouTube friends talking about um, this particular foundation so I thought okay let's dig it out and try it with some more hydrating primers I do find that this isn't as kind of easy to blend into the skin as the other Too Faced one but I think that's just because it's a matte one. I'm uh, I'm liking how this is uh, going so far. I just put a bit too much on there, but never mind. So I carved out my brows with the uh, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the same shade i can't remember whether i said that or not but that is what i used i do like it for carving up brows but also it's obviously the perfect match with this foundation which uh, i like yeah this is definitely uh better than I remember it last time so I'm really thinking that my issue last time was that I had oh, more of a matte primer I have got glitter sparkles everywhere I didn't do a very good job of cleaning them up but I don't think anyone uh, is that fussed by some extra sparkles especially for calm chameleon all right let's get okay so i think i forgot to press play so i went in for my under eyes and spot concealing with the Too faced born this way multi use sculpting concealer in the shade almond i love it um so yeah let's move on so for powder i'm going to use my laura mercier um translucent loose setting powder and uh, this is the original one i do also have the glow one um but i don't often use it to be fair because it does make you really extremely glowy so 
Okay, just make sure they're patted out. Powder there just a tiny bit. I'm just going to go over my T-zone a little bit with this smaller brush, like I always do. It just sets it nicely without, without adding too much. I find that if I try to set these areas with a bigger brush, that it quite often um, ends up looking pretty cakey. Bit of fair fluff there. Okay, and then going in with oh, did I even say what the foundation brush was? No, so the foundation brush is one of the Real Techniques foundation. That one. Um, for my under eyes, I just used the same brush that I used for the eyeshadow primer, which is the Moda Domed Shadow. To set my under eyes, I used the Made by Mitchell MF2. And then to powder the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Spectrum AO1. This is the Disney I'm Good at Being Me. So Cruella set is from there is so it set the rest of the face hmm. I haven't finished the eyes like I usually would bizarrely I have no idea what I'm doing today we are just going with whatever oh, a bit much there end up with all these little white flecks in my hair again <laughs> never mind it's all good yeah these nothing is going to completely cover them without absolutely pasting something on but that'll do it will do so Throwing powder everywhere. Mm. Yeah, I like how that's looking. So I'm going to give it a quick spritz. No, I'm, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to give it a quick spritz with the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer Mist. I'm really enjoying this. I've got hair somewhere here. Get rid of you before we go uh, setting. And just using an envelope to fan because I'm fancy like that, you see. It's called multi multi-use products. Yeah, I really like it. it I think it does leave a slight, a slight glow, a slight luminosity that makes the matte less matte. I quite like it. And I've ended up with nothing on my lips again, so let's try a bit more of the burny stuff. I'm not convinced that this actually does anything apart from burn. We shall see. Hmm. I'm thinking I am going to have a no lash day. Just a, no, just a nice easy one today. I'm not really feeling up to too much. I was up a lot in the night in pain, so uh, I kind of really need to rest. <laughs> but. At least I will be resting looking pretty. Okay, so let's 
So the mascara I'm going to go in with is the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl. I'm loving this. I think I have a joint favourite. It's like this one and the Madage Beauty one. But yeah, this has impressed me a lot, actually. I tried a load of the Essence ones that everyone swears by, but for some reason I just couldn't get on with the ones that I had. I just gave them to my daughter in the end. But this one, this one has won my approval. Anything that can make me look like my I have lashes of my own is a winner. My books. And this does exactly that. It does go a little bit clumpy if you add too much, which I quite often do because where I've got such small um, straight lashes. I need to add that bit more. Okay, well, I think that's going to do. I actually look like I have lashes, which is unusual. But yeah, I can live with that. Let's pop this away. I can live with that. So for my under eyes, I am going to, ooh, I'm going to go in with Danger Noodle. Oh no, first I'm going to go in with Sun Snack. Let's change things up a little bit. So just the tiniest bit of Sun Snack because it is very, very pigmented. I just want to kind of marry it to the top a little bit. So I'm doing maybe, maybe not. I do absolutely love this shade and I think it's just the perfect addition in this palette. Perfect. does have um, quite a bit of sparkle in it which a lot does tend to come off as you kind of blend it onto the eye but if you pat it you could like keep it um, more matte looking yeah I'm just going to use that to kind of fill in the outer bit touch of that because uh, I'm liking this yeah it's adding what was missing I think yeah just going to take this brush that we used for the kind of outer area just see if I can smudge that a bit with that one what that doing I'm gonna set the fluffy end actually just fluff the edges right there more blurred in rather than here I am I don't like harsh lines I do like to have things blended really nicely but it's just me 
I'm a little bit kind of obsessive and it has to be blended really lovely or it doesn't look nice and yeah <laughs> so I am going to go in with a danger noodle which is this one here I've used this one already and the sun snack and I love them and I am oh I didn't say what that was the brush I went in with was a spectrum a13 and now I am going in with a Moda small eyeshader and dipping into Danger Noodle. And I'm just going to take that all the way, all the way along, right up to here. Ooh. I like that a lot. These are, they're pigmented, like, don't get me wrong, very pigmented, but you can go in with a really light hand with these. They blend beautifully, so I think this is, this formula is good for both beginner and not beginner alike. But I really love the effect of that purple under there. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. So for my waterline, I'm going in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Crybaby. I love this. And I've used this a lot recently, actually. I do... Stay where you are. Stop running away. Um, I do really love this. Oh, if you can hear some funny noises, my dog's dreaming. Yeah, I like this. I'm actually in front of the camera, I think, so I don't think you can see. Oh, I like that. I'm not going to put... Or am I? Yeah, I am, actually. Make my mind up. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl Mascara to uh, do my lower lash line. I do like this uh, mascara for the lower lash line also. It doesn't seem to like smudge under my eyes throughout the day. Which pretty much everything is at the moment. Because I get really sweaty. Alright, pop. I've been getting really, really sweaty. Like partly with the humidity, the heat. But also, um, I get really sweaty when I'm in pain. Uh, which is pretty much all the time. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Finding something that my sweat does not melt can be uh, a task and a half. I'm loving how that is looking. Right, let's go in with some bronzer. So I am, oh, I can't remember what they're called. Okay, so I can't remember the shade names of these, but I will make sure that's popped in the description box. I haven't got anything with me to pop them out. Um, but I'm going to go in with this Lethal Cosmetics kind of contour bronzer there. And let's... What brush do I want to use? Let's go with one of you. So I'm going to use a Spectrum AO4 to dip into that a little bit. And I'm just going to use that from the hollow and just blend it upwards a bit. I think I did very well with the shade on this. It is perfect. Yeah. 
way too much on there. I did not tap the brush off properly. If I tapped it off at all, I don't remember. Um, yeah, these do blend out though, as you can see. I do prefer to take a tiny bit and build up, but no, we went, we went all out that time. I don't think there's much difference between the two there. Could be a touch more on this side, and then we're done. Okay, and then I'm just going to use that up around the perimeter, perimeter around the around the top of my forehead. I have no idea what's going on. The sirens are about again. I'm... I do apologise. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to dab a tiny bit just down the side of my nose there. And also Hmm. Now, I don't know how much that helped actually. Let's get a big fluffy brush and do it. That's better. Um, a tiny bit just under my lip there. And just reshape the jawline. Oh dear, there goes the double chin. Oh dear, I'm in one of them moods today. I do apologise. That'll do. That will do. So, the blush. Where's a blush or brush that I have on tools? So, again, this will be listed in the description box below by name. I can't remember the name of it. I'm going in with the Lethal Cosmetics blush, the one in the middle there. Well prepared stuff. Well prepared. Well, I might actually dab between the two. So I've dabbed between the more orangey one and the yellowy one. Because I wanted something kind of in between. Oh, yes. I think we've got a lot of the orange there. It's got a bit of that yellow. Okay, we've overdone the blush, but that's okay. I like a very blushed look. I'm going to look very blushed and fancy resting on my sofa. I do have to ask, any of you that do watch this, do you do your makeup along with me or, or not? I'm intrigued to find out. Right, it's blush done. And highlighter, right. So the highlighter, did I say what brush? The brush I used for, I did say that one, didn't I? The brush I used for the blush is a, what are you even? It's a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter big for a highlighter for me um so for the highlighter i'm using a spectrum b08 and let's go in with this 
Oh, the highlighter I'm using. <laughs> this is the Divine Highlight from VE Cosmetics. I love this. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to use that same highlighter to do my inner corner and brow bone highlights. This does look absolutely gorgeous. I love this highlighter. This is another one that I highly recommend. VE Cosmetics does some amazing products. I love the primer I have from them. I say them, her, huh? I think. Um, yeah, I love. I love the products. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is exactly what I wanted. Just gonna kind of flick it into the bottom colour there so it's not like a just a harsh block. And the same with there, just blending that in a bit. Yep, that is beautiful. So I'm just going to tuck a bit up under my brow. Just enough for a sparkle. Look at that. This is perfect. What are you doing? Uh, the strange noises in the back are probably getting comfortable. Uh, apparently my bed needs extra help to be comfortable. Hello Pops. Hmm. So it would appear Poppy is being too lazy to come and say hi. I don't know if you can see her in the background there, but she's lazing about today. One of them days, clearly. So, lipstick. Do I want lipstick or gloss? Hmm. Right, I think I'm actually going to go in with the gloss. So, I am going in with the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is the Sailor Moon X Colourpop collab one. And I have the shade Sailor Moon. I actually really love this. It's got just enough colour to show up, uh, but not so much. What have I got there? But not so much as to completely kind of over overtake. I like that so I think I am about done so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video if you are here in the live chat thank you so much for for being here for taking the time to chat Um, I really appreciate you so so much and for those of you watching at a later time thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me Um, if you've liked this video <laughs> please do give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. And if you are new around here, as you can see, maybe not so much today, I'm a huge lover of colourful makeup and generally I'm bright, colourful, unicorn, rainbow-like, maybe not quite to that extent, um, but I love colourful makeup generally. And I am a huge supporter of indie brands. So yeah, if that sounds like uh, something you'd be interested in, uh, some more 
viewing some more then please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you of my uploads. So again thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very very soon. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.